ke and on our YouTube channel as well. You can talk to us on our social media pages at KTN News KE at KTN Home underscore at Dennis Asad on Twitter. Our hashtag is Newsdesk. Now, a showdown is looming in the National Assembly as the Finance Bill 2023 enters its crucial third reading stage today. Even as the minority side is said to have lined up eight amendments to the contentious proposed law. Last week, the finance bill was passed by the National Assembly during its second reading with 176 out of 257 MPs voting in favor of the bill, while 81 out of 91 were absent during the voting exercise. Let's cross over to Parliament where our reporter Emmanuel Toh is. Good afternoon, Emmanuel Toh. You are at Parliament Buildings. The show is going down today. What do you have for us? Indeed, the uh, parliament will be having its uh, Tuesday's afternoon session. And of course, the main activity for today will be the third reading and of course, uh, uh, subsequent voting on the clauses uh, in, uh, contained in the finance bill of the 2023-2024 financial year. And a lot of reactions have been coming from leaders and it is for that reason that I want to speak to uh, Honorable John Kagusha, the member of parliament of Mukurene constituency, to get his views on what he thinks, what to expect actually from uh, today's uh, voting and of course uh, uh, the, the third, ring, uh, third reading of that uh, finance bill of 2023-2024. Thank you so much Mwishmio for joining us on KTN News. What are we expecting especially from you as a member of parliament on the Kenya Kwanzaa side? Thank you very much. Today we have a very important day because it's when we are looking at the clause by clause uh, of the finance bill. Particularly we have what we call the committee of the whole. And uh, once we are done with the committee of the whole, by the way, we will only be reading the bill for the third time. And uh, what we expect is that uh, we will be in the house. I'm here today in Mukurene, but I can tell you within the next few hours, I'll be back in Bunge and uh, I will participate in the process. And what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be looking at every single clause in, uh, in the finance bill and we'll be voting and we'll be uh, agreeing with, uh, with those uh, clauses. And uh, we have uh, gone through the finance bill now in Parliament for the last uh, several weeks, since the time uh, it was uh, first uh, uh, introduced in Bunge. And we have been able to go through most of the uh, clauses. And uh, whatever was contentious, we have been able to look at it and it has been corrected. And so today we will be now going through in a... Uh, proposed amendments. If there is any proposed amendment, it will be gauged based on its merit or its demerit, and since the voting will happen. Mm. Yeah. And um, among the amendments, we have uh, the uh, that's Kim, Kimani Kuria has uh, said that he has received a total of 10 amendments uh, two from the Kenya Kwanzaa side and eight from the Azimio. And among the, those that have been proposed is uh, a reintroduction of uh, VAT on helicopters and as well as the removal of that clause that uh, uh, that uh, calls for 35% VAT on uh, people earning at least uh, five, 500,000 and those earning more than 800,000. What's your take on that? Uh, let me say that uh, we the parliamentarians are the people who are earning a lot of money. We are the people who earn more than 500,000 shillings. Not very many people or very many Kenyans earn more than that. And when we as the parliamentarians we are told to give more money or we are taxed from what we are earning which is much more. I think we as parliamentarians we should stop complaining for sure. We should contribute also to the economy of this country. So for me I am going to be voting for more taxation of my salary. So that, that money that I'm going to be paying can help our people. So on that one, we are going to be on it. The issue of reintroduction of the VAT on uh, uh, the uh, purchase of uh, uh, the, the helicopters, that one, is, there's no problem with that. That one I can actually support. And very quickly, finally, Mushmiwa, you have confidence that the bill will pass? Definitely, the bill will pass because uh, most of the parliamentarians are well reasonable parliamentarians and i will say that this bill will pass because we want the best for our country we cannot continue in the same borrowing spree that we have had in the past you know very well as we talk today here we are paying much more tax i mean we are paying much more interest on the principle that we have borrowed than the principle itself when you look at the amount of money that we are paying to our uh, lenders today is much more uh, interest than the principle how can we continue doing this? If we were to collect our own money from within our country, then it means we are first of all going to save all the money we are paying to the interest. 